cleaning and regular maintenance is all part of owning a sleigh machine. And on the Husqvarna Viking Epic 980Q, I'm gonna just show you all the basic things you need to do to keep your machine in top running condition. Now we do have over 50 videos that we have filmed on a near identical machine, the Husqvarna Viking Epic 1. And the difference between that machine and this machine is that one is an embroidery machine as well as a sewing machine. And this one is a sewing only. But we wanted to do a few videos on the actual Epic 980Q with the pink screen. And I, this is one video people always are looking for. So number one, before we get into taking out the throat plate and getting down underneath and cleaning, let me show you what I do. When I often use cotton threads, some cotton threads leave a little bit of residue here. So instead of pulling this thread back and bringing that lint up through the machine, I'll recommend to my students to clip the thread at the top and pull the thread out the needle. And if you can do that, it really makes a difference. If you're using a thread that's not linty, you will usually see me kind of um, just pulling that thread backwards. But again, I keep an eye on how much lint is gathered at the needle. I mean, the fabrics that create the most lint, those are gonna be your fleeces, your flannels, and all that wonderful minky cuddle fabrics that almost is like the fur fabrics, that's gonna make a difference. Next, you're gonna need your screwdriver, magnetic screwdriver, and your brush. Now, other things that could be helpful here would be like bigger brushes or even Q-tips to kind of get into all the areas I'm gonna show you to get into, but please do not use canned air. That is not for a sewing machine. That's gonna blow more in and not get as much of it out. So definitely you're drawing the lint out of here and not blowing it in. Now, after what we're doing, we recommend that you do it every two to five bobbins. Five bobbins is a lot because this machine has the taller, bigger bobbin. So even every two to three, two to four bobbins, you're gonna probably notice that your machine might be kind of growling a little bit. If your machine is stitching and then the thread breaks, that's a common thing when the machine needs to be also cleaned. And then once a year, we're gonna have you take it to your local Husqvarna Viking retailer and service center and have them do the whole cleaning, all the oiling and adjusting that this machine truly deserves on an annual basis. So if you haven't done that lately, maybe schedule an appointment and get it in for a annual tune-up. Next, I am a fan of removing the needle, number one, because I probably need to change it anyway, but definitely just so I don't stab myself while I'm doing that, and take off the presser foot. Now you don't have to take off the screw here, but just remove the foot as a snap-on foot. Take your bobbin out and set it aside. At this point, you can use the opposite end of the magnetic screwdriver, the, the more pointier part, and kind of place it underneath the throat plate to the side. You can do the right side or the left side and just give it a little twist. And when you do that, this will just come right on out and you'll see that it has two little nubs on the back. So when we put it back in there, we'll line up on the back and then push straight back down for it to click into place. So that's so nice then having to take out screws. <laughs> it makes it really easy to get in and out. Next, there's two more things that need to be removed. You're gonna notice this kind of U-shaped piece that sits over the bobbin case, and it just sits nice and flush, so we'll set that to the side here, and then the bobbin case will completely lift out. So this is the part where you actually click it in when you put your bobbin in, that has the little bit of tension. But down here, in this whole area, this is where all the lint gathers. It doesn't take much to find extra lint for <laughs> and then that can cause where you get skip stitches or breaking of the threads. So again, just get in here and clean out everything. Doing this every couple bobbins is gonna make this machine run smoother and last longer. So before you call anybody and freak out, just do the cleaning and then put a new needle in. Trust me, it makes all the difference in the world. So I'm give this a little bit of a little touch up there. Then as you put your bobbin case back in, just look for these kind of two pointier parts here. Those will face towards the back of the machine. So just set it in there and really just sits down in until it 
fits nicely. It should wiggle just a little bit left and right. And then this will come back over the top. When it fits in, it should fit in perfectly flush around the edge. And then our final piece is that throw plate to slide that all the way in and then push down hard on the front part of the plate. Then you can go ahead and put the foot on, the bobbin back in, and then go ahead and stitch a little bit. Now you notice I didn't do any oiling and that is true. You do not have to oil the Husqvarna Viking machines, uh, but your local service center, when they service the machine, they will be putting oil in where it needs to be. So you and I don't have to do that. I'm gonna actually use the little multi-purpose tool because it has that little holder here. I'm gonna drop the needle down with the flat side to the back and this little holder will actually help hold it in position so it doesn't spin. I'm gonna put the tip of the needle down in the foot first and then bring it straight up. So if you have trouble with your hands getting all the way in there to hold the needle up and in position at the highest point, use the multi-purpose tool. Next, let me talk about this screwdriver, which I love because it's magnetic and it quickly attaches to the screw, but you need to tighten this a little, but not a lot. If you really over tighten this, you are gonna find that eventually you can damage this area. So you need to find that happy medium, a tight enough that it doesn't fall out, but not too tight that it could be actually uh, getting too uh, attached to that area, which will eventually break loose. So go ahead, thread up with good quality thread, put a new needle in and start stitching. Again, every couple bobbins is a good time to clean. And then also don't forget, take it into your local service provider on an annual basis. If you want to learn more about all the wonderful features of the Husqvarna Viking Epic 980Q, click on the links below in the description of this YouTube video.